below YouTube. This is a TRFL. We are okay. I don't know. TRFL stands for trifle in case you're wondering. I, don't. I haven't said that before, but today I'm going to give you my after review on the Triton AX 180s that I got like, I don't know, probably three weeks ago. I don't know. I wasn't keeping count. But some things I forgot to mention in the unboxing and setup is that the cord is 12 and a half feet long. That's a pretty long cable. And um, it says, it came with this little thing, not the adapter for the Xbox controller. Oh, no, let me get it real quick. It, uh, well, I don't like those games either. But, uh, this, on the end of this cable, the part that you plug into your Xbox controller, which is this one, it said Xbox Live players use wireless controller. But, I mean, the first week that I got it, I had to use my wireless controller because um, it gave feedback if I used a wired one. But not much. I mean, if you're playing a game, you wouldn't notice it. But now that feedback has gone away. I don't know why. I don't know why that would happen. But you can use wired controllers after a week of breaking the controller. And another thing I forgot, I didn't see the thing because I didn't read the instructions before. I open it, obviously. And if you want to put the mic in, it's got like this little ring around it. Like, so you have to line up the dots and plug it in that way. And then you have to like screw it in. Like you have to twist it. 180 degrees so it won't come out. I don't know why they did that, but I guess that's a nice feature so your mic doesn't fall out for some reason. For some strange reason. And I'm really liking this headset. It's uh, still stretchy. Still durable. The only problem I have with it is um, it gives a little white noise. I mean, not like white noise, just like the kind of noise you hear like if you're at the ocean and you put your ear in a seashell but it's not that loud I mean if you're actually playing I don't think it actually has the noise but if you're uh, not doing anything like if your Xbox is off and your TV's on you can hear it and if you're uh, sitting at the dashboard it'll do it but as far as comfortability comfortability I don't even know if that's a word but yeah it's they're really comfortable and some sometimes your ears get a little bit hot but I think it was just because I wasn't used to them wearing them all the time but um yeah they're pretty pretty awesome and the uh this box is really convenient although it could be a bit bigger the dowels could be a bit bigger but that's no complaint complaint of mine and uh it's great for watching movies and stuff on your computer like my mac over here this is what i make videos on by the way this but um the mic mute doesn't slide down when you don't want it to you know I mean you get what you pay for really I mean sound quality is great you get more than you pay for actually and the I don't know like three days in I noticed that my mic wasn't working and I was like why is that but it was because he's my source selector switch for my mic input it wasn't working properly like I could hear them talking but I couldn't hear my uh, like they couldn't hear me and it said my mic was plugged in but I didn't have the source selector on Xbox like where it should be I think yeah you can see that better now yeah you, you have your PS3 over here and your Xbox over here and your chat volume wait no this is your game volume your chat volumes over here with your mic mic output but uh, yeah, and I don't know. Listen to myself doing the um, commentary on my chopper gunner. I the mic. I don't know. I guess that's how I sound online, but I don't think. I mean, I guess it is. Makes your voice kind of sound funky. But uh, yeah, um, I mean, comfortable, durable. I mean, the weather hasn't started to wear at all. I mean, there's no wrink. I mean, there's a few wrinkles in it from where I've opened it and closed it so many times. But yeah, I mean, it's got a really comfortable rest. I mean, I don't know. You'd probably walk away from your Xbox without even knowing these are on. But that's what your breakaway cable's for, just in case that does happen. 
And this is actually, you might need to like pull this in and out a few times so it comes out easier. Because you might actually pull your Xbox off your desk or whatever. You know, something like that might, might would happen. But, uh, just, yeah, I don't think that would be a big problem though. Forget that it's on your head. You're stuck on the cable. But, um, yeah, I really like this headset. I mean, Turtle Beaches, people just complain about Turtle Beaches. That's why I didn't buy any. But I th I would prefer these over Turtle Beaches. But yeah. So that was my uh, Train X180 follow-up review. Um, you know, just a follow-up review. Um, great for movies. Great for gaming. It saved my life several times in Search and Destroy. Not really in Ground of War or Team Deathmatch because there's a lot of noise going on, but in Search and Destroy, people typically, you know, have Ninja on. And if they don't have Ninja Pro, you can uh, hear them pulling grenades and stuff and knifing. And that's another thing. You hear knives really loud. Like when people go to knife one of your friendlies, and you like, you can hear it. And it's incredibly loud. But uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, comment, like. Um, send me a friend request if you like on uh, Xbox Live. I'm an Xbox Live player. I don't know why you wouldn't play Xbox Live. Oh, because you have to pay. It's so awful. No, it's not. It's not really that bad. But, um, yeah. My name, Trifle TRFL, this is my clan tag. I'm going to get my name changed soon when I get 100 Microsoft points. But, uh, yeah. Um, my name is We Are Okay. We are okay without any spaces, or we are rock, however you want to say it. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like the X180s if you chose to buy them, or if you choose to buy them. So um, just keep on gaming, I guess. Yeah. I'll see you guys later.